about to open the habitats and it's really exciting. We've got a huge crowd and hopefully the cats have a great day. How excited are you today for these habitat openings? I'm so excited. It's so beautiful out here and these habitats look nice and big and I'm just really excited to be able to see these tigers get their paws on some grass. That's great. What? When did you do your internship? It's my internship in the fall of 2010. And are you excited to be back? Oh yeah, most definitely. It's great, great to be here. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> we're here at Turpentine Creek. We're so show. excited to be back and we're going to see two habitat openings. We can't wait. Yay! Yay! Just Sims, how excited are you today for this awesome habitat opening? I am so excited. <laughs> how excited? Scale of 1 to 10, give me your excitement. You can't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You killed the tree. It was already falling over. I want to thank everybody for coming here today. I've been so excited this week that my face hurts actually, but uh, really last night and yesterday at the taste it with the tigers, it was just unbelievable because we actually uh, got so many of our previous interns coming in and they kept coming in I heard till five or six o'clock this morning so and they're still coming in so we're having our intern reunion thank you guys so much for making the trip I know some are from California from all over the world back to Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge where uh, hopefully we you think you got your start we think you got your start here so um, we're excited about this uh, habitat opening. We're going to open two. We couldn't do this without the dedicated staff, interns, and volunteers here at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. We're just so ecstatic that we made this progress. I did not even think for a moment we could ever do this much in such a short period of time. And we couldn't have done it without our sponsors that actually paid the money to have this material bought so we could put it up and get it going. So I'd like to thank Fred and Sherry. And this is, this is their habitat. And they've made some real special little uh, things they brought in this morning for enrichment for the cats. And they've been very involved in this whole process of uh, to the shade screen, you can see that the shade screen is a little different than all the others and things that we really strive for in our habitats. But really our goal is to save the animal first, get them out into, get to know them actually, make sure they're healthy, and then be able to pro provide a big area for them to get out and run and play and do all the things that they really deserve to do. And you know, eventually this might be the main compound and then you know, we'll go down into the witness tree field where the land is a little flatter and we can build even bigger habitat. So um, I hope that you'll join us with that and be here for every habitat opening if possible and do whatever you can wherever you are to help spread the mission of the refuge and help us grow. We really need your help. And then I'd like to introduce Virginia Rankin. The Rankin family sponsored our elderly cat habitat. It's got a lot more to come. <laughs> Just as far as enrichment and things like that, that habitat, the next one, the 33rd habitat was designed for the elderly animals. So as the animals do grow old and, you know, in the wild, a long life for a big cat is eight to 10 years. Here in ca captivity, here at Turpentine Creek, we have a lot of cats that are 17 and up. And one of the cats, crystal that we're releasing today actually is about 20 years old. So um, we're just thrilled that she gets this opportunity today. And I'm not going to take any more of the time. I know everybody wants to see. We're going to have a ribbon cutting. We've got the Rogers Chamber of Commerce, some ambassadors from there. 
that have came to uh, help us cut the ribbon for this habitat and the following one. So uh, we're going to get those ceremonies under. And I know there's Emily McCormack, our curator, and was our uh, intern uh, recruiter, still is. So uh, volunteer coordinator. Um, I pass that off. What else? Uh, tractor driver extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm going to turn this over to her, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you so much for coming here, and thank you for all you've done to help the refuge. Lord, this is overwhelming. But first, I just want to start by thanking Kenya Smith. Um, she and her parents founded this refuge in 92. Happy 20th. Thank you. you are amazing. Um, none of this would be here without her and her parents' vision and what they saw that could happen here. And so 20 years is a pretty amazing milestone, and here's to 20 more. Um, also, I want to thank all the interns that came back. This is, wow, wow. Um, it really brings back a lot of memories. I know you guys were saying that, but uh, it, for us, it's you can remember when we were right there building. And I look at some of you and remember when we were down there. And then some of you when we were pushing wheelbarrows from down there <laughs> all the way up. And you're like, oh, they have vehicles. But um, it's uh, absolutely amazing that you guys took the time to come and celebrate this moment with us. I also want to point out that we have a lot of our board members here and thank them for making the trips. Bill and Nancy Plummer uh, come down from Indiana. Bill's the chairman of our board. Um, I saw Dave Schoonover on my way around and, and I don't know who else is here, but <laughs> thanks for coming down. Thank Bill and Nancy for helping out with organizing all this 20 year stuff and uh, making it work for us. They also are a donor of a habitat. We have some other donors that are here that donated habitats. We have a long time, old time. John Boren is here, uh, used to volunteer, also donated towards a habitat back that way years ago. Uh, there he is. Um, and also some of the interns, and Mike Fleming is here. Um, Mike uh, started the intern program. Hey, Mike. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but I want to thank all the sponsors and donors that came out today um, and that have helped us also get to this, this point because we wouldn't be here without you. And one more volunteer I'd really like to point out is Roger. I can't say um, We would not be to this point right now without him. Thanks. That's all I can say about that. Enters here now. You are awesome. Love you guys. What? What a good job that y'all did. It's really amazing. Staff, everybody, blood, sweat, and tears. Um, thank you very much for your dedication, and uh, really love you guys. Um, hard work, they worked after work. Lori, knock it off. Um, we'll, get, we'll get moving here, because uh, I just want to give you a little background about the cats, because that kind of is about them. Um, in this habitat that Fred and Sherry Seib Sieber, Sieber uh, sponsored on, the left-hand side here, we have Shelby and Sasha. They were rescued in Texas. Um, some folks had them as a pet in their backyard and couldn't uh, get insurance anymore, homeowner's insurance on their home. Scott and Tanya went down and rescued them. I'm forgetting the year. Um, then we have Jesse and Keisha on the right. They were rescued from Springfield, Missouri. Uh, they were at a facility and uh, they could no longer house them there. On our third habitat that we're gonna be opening, closest to the road here is Crystal and Little Tony. There's nothing little about them. And they were rescued in Kansas. A gentleman thought that he could um, possibly own a sanctuary and start rescuing animals, but um, it didn't work out that well because it's a lot of hard work. Um, and then on the other side is Thunder 2, and he was rescued all the way in upstate New York um, at a facility that was closing down. And so a lot of these animals, um, it's amazing because years ago when we were building these habitats, some of the animals had been at the refuge for you know, five or six years before they got this freedom. And, and now we're looking at cats that have only been here a couple of years and it's pretty amazing. Um, and a lot of these animals that are down here today came in pretty aggressive. Um, 
and it was an amazing thing a couple uh, two weeks ago when we uh, brought Sasha in particular down here. Uh, when we rescued her, she was attacking the fence and um, just, it was unbelievable. We're gonna try to find that video. And then to see her gain the trust in all of us and she just got right in the transport trailer and, and rode all the way down here. So that was pretty awesome. And that, that to us is the most rewarding thing. And, and this is, this is a piece of their, their freedom. And um, everybody that helps out and donates and all the interns, they, you're all angels among them and uh, they need you, the people. So uh, if it's your first time here, that you're gonna come back now all the time. And we encourage everyone, if you can, help us build more. Help us give them all the freedom. Yeah, I know. 